Welcome to a brief overview of rotator cuff tendinopathies or rotator cuff damage or tears. Um, this is something we see an awful lot in clinic, particularly that have been diagnosed, patients that have been diagnosed with rotator cuff issues. Um, it's very interesting because research probably says now that most people without symptoms, if we scan them, have got some signs of rotator cuff tears or dysfunction or, or something not quite 100% with these rotator cuff muscles. Now the rotator cuff is a group of four muscles that sits to improve the stability between the shoulder glenoid, the, the cup, and the humerus that sits in there to make the shoulder joint. There's four muscles that attach around there that stabilize the humeral head into the glenoid. And these are the four rotator cuff muscles or tendons. Um, research, as I say, now is showing that if we improve the strength and the stability, even if one's torn or two are torn, we can probably rehabilitate a shoulder to a very, very high level of function over time. But this doesn't change overnight. You're talking weeks or months of progressive work, rehabilitation, to get these improvements. Um, so again, chatting to an MSK physiotherapist is a good idea. We've put some great resources and rehab plans on the website, so please do have a, have a look at those. Hopefully they'll be helpful.